This MTG Bound is brought to you by Mr. Magic Down Under and DiesToRemoval.com. This is round two of standard elimination and I lost the die roll. I'm going to keep this hand because I have a threat and I have really powerful removal spells. Okay, my opponent opened with green, black, scry land. So it could be devotion or a junk deck. Which makes me kind of want to play the Mutable first, but because I don't know, actually. Is there any reason why I should be playing the, um, the Magma Jet first? I mean, the um, Chain Rocks this early? Probably not. I'm gonna go with Mutable first. So I can get a free swing in if he taps out. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna play into that. Life pain. Oh dear. Do I chain this creature here? And swing with Mutabot? Or do I um, ignore it? I don't ignore it. It's annoying for sure, but it's not, it's not the death of me. That's far from that. Oh, damn it. He's clever. Searing blood. Alright, I'll do that. I'll use, um... Magma Jet plus Searing Blood. That was a really, really bad play on my behalf. Horrible. I should have went um blood first. Ah, oh, he's got the K. Well, I can force him to decay my um chain of rocks. I desperately need to draw another land so I can actually start spamming my um, Boros Champs. Oh, whoops. Oh, that was so bad, that was a misclick. Oh well. Everything changed. 
changes. Okay. Did not expect that. Never mind then, that wasn't a misclick, that was all planned. Of course it was. Decay on my um, chain of rocks. Really? Really? Well, we can't use the cage to save his own corset like this, though. I need to try to maximize some damage here. I see. Who's he targeting? Also, doesn't make a difference. I wouldn't even worry. Gains one life. Wait, what happened? Oh, there we go. Labeled insane, we play in the rain. We wait and we pray for lightning to strike us. We're blinded. And GG. Um, Underworld Connections, of course, that was my only targets for um, for my keening um, aspirations. They are decent targets though, so, maybe. I'm assuming he is playing rap, even though I didn't see any. I don't think I can afford to play that, to be honest, but... I kinda wanna go to trouble, but I'm afraid of a heavy discard. If I do go to trouble, it'll be game two. Let's go for it. Should I play an early young? What do I, I do? I think so. I do want to use Magma Jet early so I can um dig up on fourth land. Does it take two? Play a Rampa? No. Yes, he does. I don't exactly care what he ramps into, so I'm gonna definitely gonna go young Paramancer now. Labeled insane, lost in our days, but we live and we pray for lightning to strike us down with the lights and sound. We were left in a haze, now we're lost and we're found. It's fucking cold, I don't wanna go outside. Shit doesn't matter. Okay, so we can ramp. And he's down on lands too. I said, let's go, oh, oh. 
Das macht schon mal neun zu hören. Niedlander. I'll take both. That is so interestingly weird. Next card's Mortar. I think, um, after looking at this, it would appear that the, um, King Aspirations are really good here. LD would be actually pretty bad for me because I can't actually, I need a fourth land for my Warlord Helixes. He didn't do it, why? Oh come on, really? Yes, it is. Then I guess. Why would he do that for? Ah, it gets more life. Yeah, that makes sense. And now he loses his scavenge news. Yeah, I think that's worse for him. So he can block three creatures. One, two, three. We take four. One, two, three, four. 
bring him down to seven, and I can't finish him. So ideally, I shoot his um his creature first, right? That's that's the plan. He dies if he makes a mistake. So who's he attacking now? Killing that token guy. He still takes um, 4 damage. I can't kill him anymore. Now he can't play the whip, which would be horrible for me. Yeah, that works. Oh no! Turn clock, come on, deck. Come on, deck. Oh no, it's froze. There you go. He has it open his hand. So I got lucky.
Lightning Strike. Okay. Thanks for watching, minions. Don't forget to check out diceremoval.com and Wonder Meow.